Here's a direct marketing email campaign that we did for one of our customers. This one was done for Skinner Hockey back in February of 2009. As you can see here, we sent out 6,852 email messages. These are the unique subscribers that Sean has in his list. These came from a variety of different places and mostly came from his shopping cart. So these are existing customers that have bought from him before. If you'll notice, in this campaign, 3,404 unique opens. That means 3,400 people opened the email. This is a pretty decent, um, actually, okay, this is a very good amount of people to open it. If you look up here, Campaign Monitor suggests that a typical open rate, or the amount of people who view your email, for e-commerce type of emails down here, it looks like it's somewhere around between 10 and 15 percent. So getting over 50 percent to get them to open, that is effective email marketing. And we're going to teach you today how to get your customers who get these emails to read and open your emails. So let's take a look at an existing email that we've generated. The body of your email is fairly important. It's probably the biggest amount of time that it's going to take to get this done and then we'll go over some of the other features in a minute but people the thing to remember is that people have a tendency to skim over printed material looking specifically for what it is that they want to find one of the things I really like to do is to make sure that I use headlines in order to grab attention uh, bulleted lists also work pretty well too because it makes it easy for them to skim through even throwing in some images not too many. You don't want your email to be too heavy when it goes to other email clients. But the the biggest key is going to be the headlines. Go ahead and give your customers some headlines that they can skim through and then possibly even either short paragraphs or bulleted lists of some items so that you can grab their attention and get get them to read maybe just some specific parts of your email. The other thing that you want to do is you want to personalize your email. You want to make sure that your email talks about them you know, use terms like you and your. Ask a question, answer the question, and then give the benefits of what that's going to be. Intrigue them. You know, dirty little secrets here. You want, you want them to say, oh, wow, what is all this about? Resist using negative words like don't or never. Those are, those are pretty powerful. Here's an example. Instead of saying don't delay, try hurry limited time offer these are all good effective ways of grabbing your readers attention also make sure you use hyperlinks inside of your email once they read the email the whole objective here is to get them back to your website to either buy your products call you or email or email you back uh, getting a conversion is the top number one reason why we're doing this so make sure you've got a good amount of email links that goes to very relevant content you want to make sure that when they click on something in a paragraph, when they land on your website, that it is complementary to what they were reading. Got our email ready to go. Let's go ahead and get it ready and send it. We use a tool through Interlogic Graphics and Marketing called Direct Mail. These are email campaign systems that allow us to, to monitor and manage everything that's going on with our emails. We like to look at how many bounces. We like to look at the, the number of opens. We like to know what links were clicked on and when and where. It's, it's really important to have a, a tool that gives you a really good set of statistics. So, let's use this tool. Let's create one. So we'll jump into here and we'll hit create. So we're going to create a new campaign. Give your email a good name so that it really does define what it's all about. In this case, this is an email going out to ILGM customers on how to get connected. So let's call it Get Connected. This is a good place to talk about subject lines. But the subject line is pretty important. One of the, you know, Besides good effective text formatting, you really got to be able to get the customer to open it. 
an opening an email in today's day and time can be a little challenging sometimes. We've got to be careful that this doesn't look like spam and it's kind of got an idea of where it's coming from and who it is. So the first thing that I like to do is to go ahead and let my customers know that this is coming from a known source. It's coming from ILGM. And then I want to show some urgency. I want them to know why they need to open this. Um, is it is it something to do with news or is there tips or am I giving them an offer? So in in this case, it's we're going to add in just a little bit called it Get Connected Now, and getting help just gives them kind of an idea of what it is that this newsletter is going to be about. Next, we need to think about making sure that that they know where this email is coming from. A lot of companies will put in newsletter ad or something like that. I particularly like to use my name with my own email address. Um, good reason is is because a lot of times they've already whitelisted. They already know that it's who I am. They don't have to guess and it's less likely that they're going to think that this is going to be spam. Okay, so now that we have this done, let's go ahead and go to next. And this will take us to the screen so that we can go get this, this email campaign that we created. So our, our email is right here. Here's the web address that it's at. So we're going to go ahead and copy that web address. We're going to tell it we want HTML and plain text. We're going to enter the location. You can use templates from the system, by the way. Here's the location of where it's at. Tell it to get my campaign. Strongly suggest that you preview it. Make sure that it looks right. And from here it looks pretty good. So this is what it looks like after it's been imported into the system. That's good. So we'll go to next. Plain text. Tell it to import it from the HTML. Makes life real simple. Go to next. Ah, the ever-ending list of subscribers. This is probably the second most important aspect of your email campaign. I use the same email list over and over and over again. And the reason why is because when an email goes out, if something gets bounced, the system is updated. So the next time it goes out, I'm not going to send it to that person again. If they've unsubscribed, they're not going to get it. If I have new email addresses, I just re-upload them into the system. And if they already exist on the list, if I accidentally duplicate it, this system will take care of it. No worries, no mess, no fuss, just plain works. So this is the snapshot. We're getting ready to, to process this. Test, 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 test. Always send yourself a test. So we'll go ahead and send the test email. Test email has been sent. Okay, now that you've sent it, let's take a look at it and make sure that it looks okay. Outlook does some pretty strange things with HTML, so I'll try to keep everything pretty simple. Here's our email. It's been sent to us as a test. Everything looks good. We can go ahead and close that. And final step decide when we want this to go out. It's been my experience that the best time to send out emails is either around 10 o'clock in the morning or around 2 o'clock in the afternoon when you send this that they've already gone through all their spams for the day or they've gone through all their spams from lunch and they have a chance to sit down and actually think about what you've got, see it come in and take a look at it.